Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about function pointers in C++. So let's go ahead and make our program. Include IL stream int main. Return zero. Okay, so we're going to use the auto type because function pointer, um, the the data type is very ugly, and we'll show you what I mean in a second. So we're going to say func pointer. Uh, equals, let's make our function real quick. So let's say we have a function here called void function one, and then it's just gonna print something. It's gonna print function one in here. So to create a function pointer, you get the address of your function. So we use the ampersand and then function one. So you can see here we have auto function pointer equals ampersand function one, a little spelling typo. So if I put a breakpoint here and then start debugging, we'll see what the auto data type is. Or actually we could hover over this and you should see we're right here. You see it's a void star void, okay? so. I'm going to hover over again, see void star void. So that's pretty ugly. So, you know, if you wanted to write it out, what that would look like is you would need to say, um, let's just make a new line. We would have to say void star function pointer. And then because there's no input arguments, you put void equals ampersand function one. Okay. so these two statements are equivalent. Obviously the auto here comes in handy. So we'll go ahead and use that. So to actually call your function using the function pointer, you need to dereference your function pointer and then pass in the variable. So in this case it's void, so it's just uh, empty parentheses. So if I run this, you see that it's gonna print function one, okay? And the benefit of function pointers is it allows you to put functions inside an array. So you can have an array of function pointers. And you create that by calling void star function or func array, the length of the array. So that's how you declare your array here. You have the return type and then the name of your array, the star symbol, and then input arguments of nothing. And then you will list out your function. So I'm gonna have function one and let's create a copy, call this function two. Okay, so we have our two functions, function one and two. That's how you create a array of functions. And then if I want to loop through it, I can say int i equals zero i is less than two, i plus plus. Have extra space here. And I could print it out by saying star func array. So here I'm dereferencing it and then indexing it with a bracket and then no input arguments. Okay, so what this will do is go through my function array and then just call each function. So if I run this, you see that it calls function one, function two, okay? So that's how you do function pointers in C++. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.